her on this is Jason J and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys basically on how to um, get a flaming text as your lock screen animation as you see I, my uh, string says the Jason J and like it's flaming and you can also choose for more options so this is you don't have, you don't necessarily have to put it in flames either so the first thing I want you to do is come into your computer and you're gonna have to download a file first of all all right all right so it's gonna bring you to this site the link in the description will bring you to this site you're gonna have to download this file it's called locks uh, it's called lock background dot a I mean HTML go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and download it then again it will be in the video description from Sandspace all right so basically once you have that you're gonna uh, just save it to the desktop it'd be more easier to find and what I want you to do to the file is I want you to basically go ahead and right click on it and we're gonna scroll down to properties and we're going to where it says open with we're gonna hit change and you're gonna open it with wordpad <laughs> and just just select WordPad. Sorry if you can't see it. Bad quality camera. Suckish, I know. But <laughs> once you've done that, the the next thing I want you guys to do is right click because we have to create us a folder. <coughs> right click on your mouse. And we're going to select new. And we're going to select folder. And basically, just name the folder whatever you like. I'm just going to name it text. Hey, you can't see that, but yeah, I'm going to just name it text Ryan. I don't know why I put Ryan, but yeah. Um. And once you have your folder created and you have that, the other stuff done, come into the other website. It's going to lead you to this website. It is called flamingtext.com. Um, now, this is how we're going to create our animation of text. Uh, you don't have to necessarily get it in fire if you don't want to. You can uh, scroll down to the bottom and they have more items to, to select from. Here you go, the fire. Uh, selection the fire logo here go the worldly text alien glow and they have more stuff they have frosty um, let me see plain if you just want it plain um, wood if you like I'm just going to select fire all right so if you want to choose something different go ahead and select it just select on this banner and it's gonna bring you to a a option a, like an option screen. <laughs> All right, so for the text string is where you're going to put your text. As you see from my iPod, I have the Jason J as my text string. Um, go ahead and whatever you want to type in, just type it in. I'm just gonna put subscribe. All right. So go ahead and put in what you want. For the font size, go ahead and mess with that. I'm just gonna put like, let see, I'm just put 50. You go ahead and put the font size, how much you want, like how big you want it. For the font, you can change the font if you want. I'm just gonna leave it the, like the way it is. For the text color, if you wanna change the text color, just basically hit on the color bar here. It's gonna uh, bring you to another a menu here where you can choose the color you want. I'm gonna choose red, and we're just gonna scroll down. If you want it in blue fire, which I don't, I just want it in red fire. Um, um, yeah, I just want it in regular fire. If you want it in blue fire, go ahead and check the box and hit um, can create logo. But I'm just gonna have it plain. So 
once you're done editing everything you like, just basically go ahead and hit create logo. And it will say your request has been sent to the server. You'll be re uh, redirected to the download. Alright, so basically, as you see, they will show a preview of how the thing will look. It is actually moving. You can't really see it on the camera. Yeah, but it's moving. And underneath it, it will say download logo. Alright, let's go ahead and hit download logo. And it's, it's going to automatically put it in a GIF file. Let's go ahead and hit save. And basically going to save it to the desktop. And rename the file whatever you like. I'm pretty sure you don't want it as numbers. I'm just going to put it as custom text. Dot GIF, but remember to put to uh, don't erase the dot GIF. All right, so we're just gonna hit save and wait for it to get done downloading. All right, so once it's done downloading, uh, basically go ahead and go into the desktop or where you saved it. I prefer you to save it to the desktop because it's more easier. Um, so once you find it. We're going to come back into where we downloaded the first thing, and that was the little e internet thing. Go ahead, open it up. And the reason why I told you guys to open it as a word path is because we're going to go back into our little thing here. We have to name an exact same thing. Well, Go back into the picture that you just got done downloading as your logo. Once you hit rename. Yeah, sorry about that. And we're going to uh, hit copy. Copy the name that you uh, named the GIF. And inside here, it will say IMG. And then it have a space and a space. And then it have a SRC. And then it will have two quotations. In between them two quotations, uh, right, uh, right there, you're going to paste the name of the file that you named your GIF. As you see, it's a custom text.gif, and that's the name that I had named my GIF. If you can't follow along, um, I have all the instructions and the video description. All right, so basically, we're gonna basically go and hit file, save as, and we're just going to re-save over this like the uh, new one. All right, so once you have that, we're gonna basically go ahead and drag these into the photo we made, drag both of them into the photo you made. And now we have to SSH into the iPod Touch. So basically, go ahead and open up how you SSH. I, SS, I like I SSH into iPhone box because it's a non Wi Fi connection. And we're going to go to var stash things. And we're just going to drop our folder that we made into the things folder, folder of the iPod Touch root. Alright, so basically once you found it into the thing here. Uh, okay. So once you found it, come into the iPod Touch. And go into Winter CP. Sorry about that. I mean, not Winter CP, but Winter Board. Sorry about that too. <laughs> and we want to select the thing that we created. Just select my Touch of Soul here. All right, and let it respring. I'll be back as soon as possible. And I'm back, and now there you have it. That's how you basically do that. Now, the reason why I left is because YouTube is cutting down on videos. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, see you guys later.